Hello, beta testers. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Have you heard the good news? Insomniac once said, Spider-Man will never appear on Xbox or PC. Play, Sony. Might we have a smattering of Spider-Man? There is no Spider-Man for PC, and there never will be. You can't do that. That's anti-consumer, that is. Wait a minute, come on to PC on our what the f- <laughs> Oh my god, let's go. Please, God, please! No, perhaps you're like me, and the news of Spider-Man on PC comes as something of a shocker. Spider-Man is Sony's golden ticket, and they've decided to invite PC to the Chocolate Factory? If consoles were gauntlets and games were infinity stones, Insomniac Spider-Man would be like three whole ass stones. Almost half a decade after the game's release, it's coming to PC now. And there are plenty of ideas that come to me about why they may be doing this. But all I can think about are the possibilities with mods. Did you just leave your clothes on the kitchen floor? Uh... Did you just leave your clothes on the kitchen floor? That's the phrase they chose to end their PC announcement trailer on. Comment if you think I'm reaching, but don't you think it's a tongue-in-cheek recognition of the first thing that many of us fans would want to do in the way of modding with this game? Of course we're going to want to change Mary Jane back to the pretty version that we're familiar with, the type that she appeared as in the concept art before they went out of their way to ugly her up. Of course some people want to the shift Parker back to the OG version. And why stop? there, I want to see Alfred Molina and Willem Dafoe's face in Spider-Man. And considering how in touch Insomniac is with delivering fan favorite skins, they know we're dying to swap these models out and experience the game in a different way. The stealth sections that previously brought the game's pacing to a screeching halt are now unironically going to be my favorite portions as I study and appreciate Mary Jane in a way that I clearly wasn't equipped to before. Ooh. Again, Insomniac deserves no shortage of endless praise for putting their full ass into their magnum opus. Half a decade passes and this entry still shines as a beacon, an example of what players are looking for because quality is timeless. Insomniac Games, thank you for being passionate and not settling for something good enough, but polishing what you've created to a mirror finish. The difference is in your game being considered THE Spider-Man game, not A Spider-Man game. This is good for consumers, it's good for fans. I've seen nothing short of an explosion of creativity out of people who have had their passion catalyzed by the experiences you granted them through this game. Yes, a certain amount can be attributed to the autism that all of us feel for, for Spider-Man, we just love this guy, but your consideration, the robust photo mode that showed some people a, a serious love for digital photography, the swinging in your game, and this is personal, but it's it's therapeutic. It's zen-like. I always wondered if you could if you could translate traversal for another character into the game in a way that just the swinging. It's enough. Your project feels like a labor of love instead of an obligation that you were forced to fulfill. It deserves the 33 million that you guys have uh, sold and it deserves its spot as top selling superhero game of all time. My honest and serious dream is to somehow see the modding community beat Insomniac to a functioning co-op or multiplayer mode to give players the spiritual successor to Marvel Ultimate Alliance that we've been waiting for. But why stop there? If it's a mod, throw some, throw some DC characters in there and see, and see if Disney can see that, you know what I mean? Oh my god, Gotham Knights doesn't get it right now. 
and is in fact inferior in some regards to a decade-old game. Crystal Dynamics buggy trash that is still currently broken ages after its 2020 launch. This is what the gaming industry has fallen to. Buggy, unfinished garbage kicked out of the door that's crashing brand new hardware with developers eager to jump on Twitter and argue with fans when they're caught in their own lies uh, or, or confronted with facts and criticism because because critique is abuse, you know what I mean? Call of Duty, Halo, Battlefield, everything's managing to hemorrhage fans because they don't listen. They could get away with making the same game every year like a sports game, but they just don't listen. They're so out of touch they remove their scoreboards from a, from a competitive shooter. Games like this are like if some hack wanted to make a Jurassic Park movie, but decided he didn't want dinosaurs in the movie, and then reduced all criticism to bigotry. I want to take every opportunity to celebrate finished and faithful incarnations of properties that inspire and overwhelm for years to come. Spider-Man by Insomniac is that. The woman closest to me is curvy and blessed. The girls that I see on top of Twitch, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, many of whom are true believers who could squash us when it comes to Spidey trivia, these are real women. They're curvy women, not the types of people that Jordan Peterson would see in love, but maybe just maybe the types of women that you see on a Sports Illustrated cover. I've noticed a nasty trend in gaming where only flat and masculine women are portrayed. And as wonderful as the inclusion is, I believe it should never come at the cost of excluding the alternative. Because this is an overcorrection and equality, in this instance, should mean including both, not just tipping the scale in the alternate favor. The new Saints Row developers paradoxically want to create politically correct gangsters that are decent, their words, not mine. Among the things that we think about a lot, you know, are, are make sure that you're always punching up. We want to be absurdist, we don't want to be mean. Nowadays, we want to laugh with everybody, not at people. You know, it's it's basically, you can be funny and still be decent. Wow, some, dude. Some things we did did not age well, and we're not doing You take the dinosaur out of Jurassic Park, and what do you got? Foolishness. Thanks for making a Spider-Man game, Insomniac. Crazy, huh? Following through with what it says on the box? You think this is some sort of rocket science based on the competition or lack thereof? I imagine this has got to be to whet the appetites of PC players who don't know what they're missing and realize after playing that they don't want to wait five years to experience Spider-Man 2 and Venom when they come out. I hope the games are dark, unapologetic. I hope they're not afraid to go mature and venture into some dark territory. I don't want a game that offers less variety. I want one that offers more.